Hello, my name is Megan and I am one of the Student Success Advisors at ICANN. Today I'm going to be talking about planning for college. If your student is planning on attending a four-year college or university, there are really a set of key components for college admission. First, GPA, grade point average. Second, they're going to be looking at ACT or SAT score and the number of core subject area courses completed. The three state schools in Iowa, Iowa, Iowa State, and UNI use what is called the Board of Regents Admission Index or the RAI formula. This is the formula of what the three state schools in Iowa use. As you can see, they're looking at GPA, ACT, SAT score, and the number of core subject area courses completed. The magic number here is a 245. If you have a 245 or higher, you are automatically entered into the three state schools in Iowa. If you have a 245 or less, you're under individual review by that school for admission. Keep in mind that private institutions have their own criteria and formula they follow, they follow but that the RAI formula is a good starting point for admission eligibility. Now let's go ahead and break all of these other key components down for college admission. First, grades. We are gonna be talking about GPA and what colleges look at when determining your admission status, as it's an indicator of how well you are likely to perform at a college level. Colleges and universities are looking at your grades from all four years of high school. All four years of grades are extremely important in high school. Those grades start freshman year and work all the way through your senior year of high school. I'm going to be talking about a student here. Their freshman and sophomore year, they did relatively well in school. Junior year, they did a little bit better, and then their senior year, they really dipped in grades. Their overall GPA didn't even hit the 3.0 that they received their freshman and sophomore year of high school. I used to work in college admissions, and it was always a red flag to me when I saw a student that did relatively well during their first few years of high school, and then really dipped in grades their senior year of high school. Senioritis never looks good. I would rather see a student that maybe started off a little rocky and worked their way up in grades. A consistent high school GPA is not only important for college admissions, but can also help you earn more free money for schools from grants and scholarships. It's very important to be in touch with the college admission staff at the college or university you are looking at going to in order to determine what they're looking for when admitting students into their school. Next, we're gonna be discussing core subject area courses completed in high school. Another aspect college admission offices are looking at is the number of core subject area courses completed. Currently, there's a big push for students to take more challenging core courses. I recommend that students are taking four years of math, science, English, social studies, and foreign language, which we'll be talking about here in a minute. I recommend two to three years of elective courses. They are also important courses in order to help students explore future careers. When we're talking about foreign language, this is an example I give when it comes to high school graduation requirements. Sometimes there's a difference between your high school graduation requirements and college admission requirements. Foreign language is an example of this. Again, we're going to take a look at the three state schools in Iowa. Iowa, if you want to be a Hawkeye, two years of a single foreign language is required for admission. Iowa State, if you want to be a Cyclone, two years of a single foreign language is required for their College of Liberal Arts, Sciences, and the College of Engineering. At UNI, foreign language courses are not required for admission. However, two years of a single foreign language in high school with a C- minus or above will meet the university graduation requirement. So what that tells me is even though you do not necessarily need foreign language in order to get into UNI, you need it in order to graduate from UNI. Foreign language is an example of an important core subject area course to take in high school. The next item colleges will use in their acceptance process are entrance exams. For four-year colleges and universities, they use the ACT or SAT. I recommend that students are taking standardized tests their junior year of high school. Reason being, the courses students are taking their junior year of high school are actually preparing them for tests like the ACT and SAT. Generally speaking, the ACT tests are for Midwest schools and the ACT test is more East Coast, West Coast schools. This is another important reason to be in touch with those colleges admission offices to see what is needed for admission. 
Your scores may also be used to determine the amount of merit-based financial aid the college will award, so it's important to do your best. Getting involved is the next subject I'm going to be talking about. One important factor in college admission and scholarship review is involvement outside of school. Colleges want to know how you do in the classroom, but they are also interested in how you choose to spend your time outside of the classroom. At the end of the school day when the bell rings, what are you doing? Do you participate in sports, band, drama, club? Do you have a part-time job? Do you volunteer? Colleges want to know what you do in your spare time. Community service and extracurricular activities foster good time management, teamwork and leadership skills that many colleges are looking for in their students. The extra involvement also helps with scholarships. The more activities you are involved in, the more scholarships you can apply for and hopefully win. Next, I'm gonna be talking about activities resumes. It's important to keep track of your involvement and accomplishments with an activities resume. An activities resume is simply a list of all your activities over the course of your high school career. This activity resume really comes in handy your senior year of high school when you start applying for scholarships and grants. Instead of typing the same information over and over again, you can attach your activity resume to help save a lot of time and also look professional by doing so. We actually have a template of an activities resume on our website that you can use. Thank you for watching and remember to visit the ICANN website at icansucceed.org for additional resources or call one of our eight locations for assistance. You can give us a call at 877-272-4692. You can also return to our video library and check out helpful tips on other career and college planning, academic, and financial aid topics. Thanks for listening.